program 9 design and implementation of iir filter to meet given specification there are two types of iir filter one is butterworth filter and the second one is chebyshev filter we will write the program for the butterworth filter again in the butterworth filter we can design four types of filter that is low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and band reject filter so all the four filters uh, we have to type the program so first i will be explaining for the low pass filter and for high pass filter low pass uh, band pass filter and band reject filter the program remains the same only one command will be varying then every command i will be explaining so first uh, we are going for the butterworth filter in that first i'll be explaining the low pass filter so these are the specifications which will be given in the problem so band pass frequency will be given as 600 hertz stop band frequency is 800 hertz band pass attenuation is 3 stop band attenuation is 10 and the sampling frequency will be 200 2000 hertz so the program will be like this first uh, we have to enter all those uh, given data so first we have to enter the pass band frequency we have to enter the stop band frequency it is given here fp and f plus pass band frequency and pass band stop band frequency ap is pass band attenuation as is stop band attenuation and f capital f is a sampling frequency then you have the formula omega p that is a uh, your pass band uh, frequency not frequency omega with respect to omega if you want it is 2 2 fp divided by f this is all it, these are the formulas which is already there in the theory part now to perform the butterworth filter or to perform the low pass filter uh, out of in the butterworth filter to design we can find out the order of the filter to find the order of the filter we need to know what is n so this and uh, this is a main command uh, which is used to find the order so n comma omega c omega c is the cutoff frequency is equal to butter or b u t t o r d this is an inbuilt function in the command window if you want you can type help butter or uh, you will get the entire description of the butterworth filter order of the butterworth filter we need to write all the spec given specification to find the order of the filter next uh, it will be once you find the value of n it has to be displayed so omega uh, dis n comma semicolon n next you have to display the cutoff frequency after the cutoff frequency is displayed uh, you have to find out the value of b and a that is the uh, coefficients of a and coefficients of b numerator and denominator and rather coefficients of the numerator because when you do in the theory part uh, you can see some few parts are there in the numerator and few parts only so i will it as a b comma a is equal to or numerator comma denominator also you can write is equal to but uh, again in the command window you can just type uh, help butter you will get the descriptions for butter n comma omega c now this is a main command uh, which is used for the different program for the low pass filter you have to just write butter n comma omega c if you want to type the program high pass filter it will be your left hand side remains the same b comma a butter uh, it is n comma omega c sin comma you have to highlight this high since it is high it will be displaying high pass filter again next comes band pass filter even if you write here comma pass p a s s also no problem or even otherwise uh, you will get the answer next you have a band stop you have to just write over here uh, stop all this command if you put it in the command window you will get the description for each so first i'll be explaining for the low pass filter for low pass filter you don't have to write anything just it is n comma omega c next we'll go see whatever numerator you are getting will be displayed uh, whatever denominator values you are getting it will be displayed next we have on the this free this is for the frequency part uh, with respect to 
plot in sub plot 2 comma 1 comma 1 your first figure will be with respect to magnitude x label y label and your second plot will be with respect to second figure will be with respect to the angle so in the figure in the filters you can see all the analog plots you can see so i have using a plot instead of stem over here then uh, your first figure will be displaying the magnitude the second figure will be displaying the face now first after typing we'll save we need to run the program so first we have to enter the passband frequency see i have given here passband frequency as 600 so i will write passband frequency 600 next uh, given in the question stop band frequency is 800 so display the same thing it is 800 or type 800 Next, uh, passband attenuation is 3. So, it is passband attenuation is 3. Stop band attenuation, uh, stop band attenuation is 10. So, write 10. Enter. Then, sampling frequency is 2000. So, we have to enter 2000. Enter. So, once you enter it, we will get over here. Trigger will see later. So, once you enter the values, we will get the uh, n is equal to 2 that means uh, see these are the values which is uh, repeating over here so n is equal to 2 in the sensor order of the filter is 2 that means you will have uh, the maximum if you have a square for example the highest power will be square so order of the filter is to n is equal to 2 numerator you will be having this is a cutoff frequency Cutting frequency is 0 0.6737 that we can see in the figure. Next to the numerator, we will be having three values that is square term, one um, square term, real, uh, x, x term, single term, and the constant. Similarly, you have for the a new denominator also, you will have a square term. This is for the single term and this is for the real term. Next, we will see the figure. Huh? In the figure, you can see the cutoff was a the cutoff frequency was something 0 0.6. All of the filter is two. So this is a plot for the real part and the magnitude and the magnitude and the phase plot for the magnitude this is for the face thank you no. in between no? this is for one no? then if you want if you want to check for the I will give a CLC over here now if I want to check for the high pass filter I have to remove this command and I have to write this command by using a percentage. So B comma A is equal to N comma W is equal to H. Save and you have to run the program. It will ask the passband frequency. Now for the passband frequency, your value will change. Passband frequency will be 800. Uh, your stop band frequency will be 600. Uh, again, your attenuation you can change it to 2.5. Uh, even if you three give you with three also no problem. Stop band attenuation I'll give it as 20. These are the standard values I'm giving. Sampling frequency I'll give it as 2000. Uh, you enter again you will get the same answer here uh, order of the filter is 4 you can see here n is equal to 4 that means uh, your numerator and denominator will be having the maximum value is 4 that is you can see here this is of the term uh, this cutoff frequency 0 0.75 then we have 0 0.0098 uh, to the power 4 this will be to the power 3 this will be to the power 2 this will be to the power 1 and this is a constant term similarly you can check for the band pass as well as for the band stop filter for the exam or these are these values will be given so depending upon these values you can give the inputs you can when you after running you can give the inputs you can check the 